بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبه المنتجبين In our relation with other people it's very important to keep our promises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that one of the qualities of the believers is that المُوفُونَ بَعَهْدِهِمْ Those who are very determined to keep their promise. Or أَوْفُوا بِالْعُقُودِ When you promise, when you commit yourself, when you sign a contract, you have to be very much committed and loyal to what you have undertaken. Before we give a promise, before we sign a contract, we have to be very careful. Is this a good thing or not? Is it something which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? Is it something that I can manage to do it or not? Maybe it's something good, but I cannot do it. I don't have time, I don't have you know, skills, I don't have you know, expertise for doing that. Maybe I don't have money. Anyway, all these checkings need to take place before we commit ourselves. For example, if I cannot buy a bicycle for my child, if I cannot buy something for my wife, if I cannot you know, visit someone who is ill, I should not promise. You only promise when, to the best of your knowledge, you think that something is good and you can manage it. Unfortunately, sometimes people promise and after they promise, they think whether they can do it or not. And then they say, oh, unfortunately, I have another appointment at that time. I have something or, you know, something, for example, uh, I forgot. This is not good. This would lead to people losing their trust. These would lead to people gradually uh, losing their friendship and uh, friendly and intimate relation. So it's very important that a mu'min only promises when he or she is sure that something is good and manageable and within his or her you know, uh, resources and um, capacity. And then tries hard to keep what he promises. Indeed, in some um, ethical studies, they say that this is one of the most fundamental virtues in ethics. And this is something that is the foundation for ethics. Even some people say that the usage of language is based on a promise. For example, any language only works when we accept that we use this word for this meaning. We use this sentence for this meaning. For example, when I say it is cold, I have used words which are supposed to be indicating this meaning. And any person who subscribes to that language, uses that language, has promised to use those words and that structure for that meaning. So even language is based on keeping our promises. No human relation can remain intact without people keeping their promises. If Nauzubillah, our society, our community, our family would be not observing this great quality, day by day the situation becomes worse. So I hope that inshallah we would be able to keep this very important quality in ourselves, in our community and grow it. We only promise when we can do something, we can manage and then after that we 100% feel responsible to keep and fulfill our promise. This is what we have to achieve, inshallah. Wa akhiru da'wana, and alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin.